What up everyone? Bay Thought Llama 3 here today to talk about Black Clover chapter 105 titled The Two New Faces. So the first thing I want to get into for this chapter is uh, the Shonen Jump magazine cover for it. Um, you know, with Demon Asta. Uh, first of all, we get to see that while well, his demon form, his eye color changes from green to red. So that's pretty cool. Um, he, uh, something that I didn't notice, even though I should have really. He has like a cool horn here. Um, but other than that, not much. Um, and the next thing I want to get into is the fact that this chapter is the second year anniversary chapter. Black Clover's been going on for two full years now, so congratulations. <laughs> um, so yeah, also we have this nice uh, cover. I believe it's gonna be the, yeah, it's gonna be the cover for one of the upcoming volumes. It's also gonna be the thumbnail for this video. Um, and we don't know what the back of the volume's gonna look like. Uh, but as to what's going on in this chapter, uh, as with the previous chapter left off, the uh, award ceremony for which, uh, Magic Knight, of the nine Magic Knight squads, got the most stars. Um, it's starting up, uh, Vanessa and Charlotte are still totally wasted and aren't getting up anytime soon, and Yami is still naked. Um, so, the uh, ceremony begins, and Julius is uh, actually, you know, sh uh, conducting the ceremony himself. And he uh, talks about how uh, the Clover Kingdom is in the middle of this aggression between these new terrorists, the Eye of the Midnight Sun. The Diamond Kingdom and the Spade Kingdom, which this is the first time I believe the Spade Kingdom's been uh, brought up in the series. Um, and because of that, in order to uh, calm the hearts of the people and you know, let them know what's going on, Julius decided that he should uh, be there to announce himself. So he presents uh, the, everyone the nine Magic Knight Captains. Now something I forgot to mention in my last uh, week chapter is that in uh, chapter uh, 104, they uh, mentioned that uh, there's two new Magic Knight captains now because the Purple Orcas and the uh, Crimson Lions have been without a captain for a while. Now, me personally, I always kind of believed that Fugalon, the, fu the previous uh, Purple, uh, the, uh, the previous Crimson Lion captain, uh, he he remember he lost his arm uh, and got put into a coma after uh, after the uh, Capital Attack arc, and uh, I always kind of just imagined that at some point he would wake up. And he would just become the captain again, and he'd just be going around with one arm, badass, flowing sleeve. That's, by the way, one of my favorite character design tropes. Characters who lose a limb, and instead of getting like a metal arm to replace that limb, just have their sleeve flowing in the air. I know it's a stupid, dumb thing, but I like it. Um, but no, instead of having a Fugalon become, uh, continue his uh, reign as captain, also instead of having Leopold, uh, become captain. I mean, I guess Leopold really isn't on that level yet, <laughs> but I mean, he was a character we already knew, so, and we hadn't seen him in forever, so I kind of thought he would be captain, but uh, no, the uh, captain of the Crimson Lions the, uh, is um, this girl now. Um, like uh, Fugalon and uh, Leopold, she has like the dark eyeshadow. Uh, maybe it's just the way this picture's angled, but it seems like she only has it on her left eye as opposed to Leopold and Fugalon, who had it on both eyes. Um, you know, it's a pretty nice character design. Uh, nothing all too special. She doesn't have a single line in this chapter, nor do we uh, learn her name. Uh, speaking of names, by the way, there are still some of these Magic Knight captains whose names I cannot remember for the life of me. Like, there's the Silver Eagles captain, who I simply just know as Noel's brother. Uh, there's this one captain. I don't remember what his squad's ca called. I think he has like chain magic or whatever. There's the one who's always sleeping. There's Vognitz. I remember Vognitz. And then there's this one who looks smiley all the time. But whatever. Um, and also for the Purple Orcas, uh, their previous captain was that Mayuri Kurosuchi looking dude. The one who turned out to be a traitor. And their new captain is the, this guy with a handlebar mustache. Eh. So, you know, everyone's freaking out over the new captains, um, stuff like that, and they're about to announce the, the rankings of the different squads, who earned the most stars in the past couple months. So everyone's just like, they win every year, so guess who first place is? The Golden Dawn. Ah, nice and predictable. And they uh, state that the Golden Dawn earned a record 125 stars, and the majority of those stars were, owned, were earned by their new rookie, Yuno. Um, so everyone is just talking about how cool Yuno is, and his friends like Mamisa are uh, congratulating him. And we get to see here 
that uh, that one Golden Dawn member, the one who's like prejudiced towards uh, peasants, as well as uh, Finwell's brother, they are looking very dark. It kind of screams treacherous evil to me. Um, but other than that, everyone now, you know, they're all like, you know, we knew that the Golden Dawn was going to be first place, and everyone's just kind of guessing over to what second place is going to be. So some people are saying that it's going to be the Silver Eagles, other people are saying that it's going to be the Blue Rose. You know, everyone's just like, yeah, you know, who's going to be? And second place goes to... The Black Bulls. What? What the fuck? And everyone loses their shit. But the Black Bulls came in second place by earning 101 stars. And as Julius states, after the Black Bulls having an unprecedented negative 50 stars, you know, in, in the previous year, they brought their uh, way up. Um, and everyone just doesn't believe it. They think it has to be a mistake. But then we get to see that little girl from the uh, Capitol arc, uh, the one that asked to save, as well as Rebecca. Um, you know, they're all talking about how cool the Bulls are and uh, how they help them out. And um, Julia states that, uh, yeah, the Black Bulls, very similar to the Golden Dawn, they uh, earned their keep this year due to their new member. And everyone's just like, hey, you know, they're going to all the Bulls around, just like, hey, you're a Bull, right? Why don't you go up there, accept your rewards and stuff. And Magna and Noel and everybody are just like, nah, 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 son. We ain't the ones who are going to earn this reward this time. And Yami, who's all back in his gear again all of a sudden, just tells Asta, kid, it's you they're waiting for. So he throws Asta on stage. And Asta uses his black clover to land on stage. And, you know, everyone is just staring. And the you know, final page of this chapter is, you know, is looking at Asta. And they state to themselves, looks like you made it, Asta. What's up, you know? And uh, that's the end of the chapter. Also, the popularity poll starts this week. Um, so yeah, um, honestly, I feel this was a nice anniversary chapter, just comparing to where, you know, Asta was in chapter one, to where he is in the series two years later, went from the kid with no magic, who couldn't get a Grimry or anything like that, to, well, the person accepting a reward straight from the Magic Knight captain himself. Um, but other than that, really not much to talk about. It's a very simple chapter. Um... I do want to say, first of all, we all know it. We've known it since he was introduced. Vognitz is going to be an evil asshole. <laughs> like, we know that, right? <laughs> um, but now we also know that uh, Finral's brother, as well as that other guy, who I don't think that other guy has a name yet, they're also probably going to be evil assholes. Um, other than that, um, I hope we get to see Leopold soon. Or Fugelon. We know he's alive. And I'm pretty sure they stated that he woke up from his coma. He's making a recovery. I really want to see him soon. Uh, but other than that, this is a uh, base on a three signing.